so they did have you invited in um, uh, a, a few weeks ago to uh, to give your view uh, and sage the the famous or infamous committee which advises the government on this was said to be more open to the thinking of uh, you and several other academics who take a different view from the consensus or from the from from the, the view that's been advising the government how did that go did you feel that you were listened to or um, do you feel obviously in the light of this lockdown decision it, it the, the message didn't get through no I do not feel that our views have been adequately represented not because I don't feel that they've listened to us but because we haven't been allowed on the table there has been no debate. I have repeatedly requested debates and they have been ignored. So there was a call earlier on, God, many uh, months ago now, um, from Independence Sage to have a debate, which probably followed from Carl Friston's analyses of what was actually happening here, which has a lot of concordance with our own thinking and Carl Friston is on Independence Age. And, and I very happily uh, agreed to that opportunity to have a full and free debate, and that did not happen. And essentially, yes, we were invited to present our opinions to Downing Street, but that was just like standing there and saying, oh, this is what I believe. What response? Sorry. What response did you get? Did you get any feedback? Well, I mean, there was a sort of nice, generous sort of uh, response in terms of, oh, well, we've thought about herd immunity and that doesn't really stand. Uh, that came away in tatters, I think is what the, phrase, the phrase that was used. Um, but, you know, I mean, they, these are not about silly little quibbles about what herd immunity really means and whatnot. This is about the lives of millions of people and what's going to happen to them after this, you know, if we put in place these awful measures. So I don't think that what we need is a very free and frank debate uh, where nobody has any vested interest in their own ideas and opinions going through. And that applies to me. If I'm wrong, I would really like to know you know, where the deficits lie in my thinking, because that's how it has to be. I mean, we do, none of us have the real, true, you know, we don't have a hotline to the sky pilot, whoever it is that's <laughs> coordinating all this. We don't, we just really need to sit around the table and have a rational, civilized discussion about what's going on.